All right, CES 2026, let's take a look at all the cool new stuff at the GL iNet booth. All right, so starting over here, we have the Flint 4. Now this is an upgrade on the previous Flint router. We've got a touch screen right here up front. This is tri-band, and if we flip it around to the back, you'll notice a bunch of stuff here. So first of all, 10 gig SFP, 10 gig RJ45 WAN port, 2.5 gig RJ45 WAN port. Then we have three 2.5 gig LAN ports and four one gig LAN ports. So a ton of switch ports on the back of this device. And of course you get that nice touchscreen and Wi-Fi 7 MLO full tri-band capability. And next we have the Slate 7 Pro. So this is an upgrade to the very popular Slate 7 from GLINet. This one has Wi-Fi 7 like the Slate 7, but it is tri-band. So it has all three bands, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. And of course you can do MLO across all of those bands. Uh, this also now has a larger amount of storage inside. They've bumped it up to eight gigabytes of internal storage for your documents and pictures, making this its own little sort of mini NAS. And of course, it's got a still a relatively small form factor. This should be available late Q1 or early Q2 2026. And here we have an upgrade to the very popular Barrel AX. This is a very small form factor router, uh, the Barrel 7. Okay, so the Barrel 7 means that it has Wi-Fi 7. So you've got Wi-Fi 7 built in, and then on the back we've got uh, one 2.5 gigabit WAN port and one 2.5 gigabit LAN port, USB-C powered, and then of course you've got your accessory USB that can be used for something like a 5G cellular modem. I love my original Barrel AX. It's what I used for a long time before I upgraded to the Slate 7. So I'm gonna have to take a look at this upgraded version once it is released. All right, so this is one that I'm pretty excited about. This is the Moody 7. So look at this device, pretty thin. This is a 5G tri-band Wi-Fi 7 travel router. So 5G, meaning underneath this battery here, you've got dual 5G SIM capability and eSIM capability as well. Here you can see with the battery off, there's your dual 5G SIMs. Uh, and then it's got everything else that you would expect from a GL iNet router. It can be repeater mode. It has a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port on the side for connecting to WAN that way. It can also, of course, have 5G, and then you've got tri-band Wi-Fi for your client devices. So this is a really nice little form factor, gorgeous touchscreen display. That just fit right in your back pocket. All right, this one's pretty interesting. This is the Comet Q. So this says the world's first hardware device for remote mobile device control. So it's got USB-C. Basically, this is a KVM for USB-C devices like Android phones and iPads and newer generation iPhones and stuff like that. So if you ever need, a, if you ever need to control your iPad or your iPhone remotely, you can use the Comet Q. And then here we have a new one. This is the Comet 5G. This is a 5G capable KVM device. So imagine for a remote location where you don't have any sort of internet connectivity, but you can get 5G, you can still remote control a device through 5G with this Comet 5G. It's Wi-Fi 6, remote KVM, 64 gigs of EM, uh, EMMC storage on board as well. And here we can see the ports on the back. We've got power, uh, USB-C for keyboard mouse, HDI, HDMI in and out. So this functions as a pass-through device like the Comet Pro. And then we also have uh, wired ethernet as well.